Hey guys, welcome to Spectrumen channel. Today in this video, I will show making a glitch effect in After Effects. Okay, if you are watching this channel for first time, then subscribe for tutorials and visual effects and like this video. Okay, so here we go. So create a composition of 5 seconds. And set that resolution. Set the workspace to that. Ok so now create the text layer. Here type in the title that you want. I will type my channel name. From there set the font and size. Ok now I will create a solid layer. And now apply the turbulent noise to that. By using this noise, we will make the glitch. Ok that's it. From here select that block shape. It gives pixel-like feeling. Ok, so you can see it's not animated. So we will animate it. For that turn on the evolution keying. Then go to end time and set another key. And there it is animated. Ok now I will scale up that noise. For that do this. That's it. Now I will pre-compose that noise layer. Give it some name. And also pre-compose that text layer. That's it. Ok, now I will insert an adjustment layer. Apply displacement map to it. Adjustment layer is used to apply same effects to multiple layers simultaneously. The effects applied onto that will be applied onto all the layers below it. Ok, select that glitcher layer here. And also do the next selections. Hide that glitcher layer. Cut that effect using Ctrl plus X. Double click and paste inside that pre composed layer. Increase those numbers in adjustment layer. And there you can see the glitch effect. What actually is happening is the white areas and noise layer is displacing the text layer. Ok, now I will create the color split effect. So for that, select the text layer and duplicate it. Rename them both. Ok, now select both as screen. That's it. Turn off that adjustment layer, for a moment. Ok now apply the fill effect on these two layers. With this, the whole layer is colored red. Similarly for the other text layer. Now set different color for the other layer. Select colors in a way so that when layers are overlapping, they look white. Select color for other layer. The cumulative RGB of both layers should be 255. Then they will look white. That's it. Now if I move a layer, it shows its own color. You can set any color you want. Ok, turning on the glitcher layer. Now I will place the adjustment layer on different times. So the glitch will happen at different times. Just like that. Now duplicate it several times, and place at different times. Set different durations. 
Now let's check it. Okay that's cool. Okay now with every glitch I will animate the second text layer. Giving a split text effect. Press P to bring the position. Hold Alt and scroll mouse 3 to zoom in. And now do as I do. Set a key just before the glitch. Now on first frame of glitch displays it. You can copy those keys using Ctrl C. Displays at last frame of glitch. Now copy the first key and insert after last key. Ctrl C. Ctrl V. That's it. Set keys as you like. Okay, cool. Do similar for all next glitches. And there is it. Now pre-compose all the layers into one. Okay. If you change the text or glitch noise, it will affect the final result, which is good. Set the noise as you require and the final result will change. Okay now I will create a background layer. Apply noise effect. Adjust as required. Pre-compose it. Cut effect and paste on inner layer. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus N to insert a mask. Change it to ellipse. And increase the feathering. If required, decrease opacity. Okay that's it. Press S to bring the scale. And create a zoom animation. And also animate the background. Go to the scale in the noise effect, and animate it. That's it. Now let's create a glowing effect during glitch. So in the first adjustment layer, insert cross blur. Change its parameters. Okay. Note these parameters. Copy it using Ctrl C, then select all other adjustment layers, and paste it once. It will be pasted in all of them. Add glow on the final layer. Duplicate it. And remove glow from other one. Set the glow parameters as required. Maybe change the opacities of layers. Press T to bring it.
and now I will make fade in transition. Press T to bring opacity. And animate it. That's it. Change its brightness and contrast if required. And that's it. Your glitch title is ready. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like this video. Check out these other videos here.